All right guys, it is time for another sold video. I decided that if I put it off any longer, I would probably end up with like a three hour long sold video. And I don't really wanna do a three hour long sold video and I know you don't probably wanna sit through a three hour long sold video. So I figured, let's just get out of, out of the way. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. I go picking with my boyfriend, sometimes it's my best friend Sue, and sometimes it's my kids. But at the end of the day, it's all about having fun and hopefully just maybe making a profit. Keep in mind, this is just gross profit. I am not calculating in any of the fees. That would just be way too much work for this video. Now this is 19 days worth of sales since the last time I posted a sold video, which I'll put the link to down in the description. Um, and we've got quite a few things uh, that have sold. So I'm gonna go through those as quickly as possible because it is 11.30 at night. Bear with me, I'm dragging just a smidge. If you can't tell, you probably can't tell. I'm I think I just caught my second wind. Um, <laughs> anyway, we are going to start with the shelf sitters. I don't know if you remember the shelf sitters, but I got the shelf sitters on dollar days at Community Aid. This was the day when Sue and I were just like, hey, let's go to Community Aid, which is a local thrift store for us. And we walked in the door and it is just like Black Friday at Best Buy. And it is like people are just grabbing clothes and there is a line all the way. I expected to see tents set up in the back corner. Like people are serious about buying these clothes. And it was a little overwhelming and I was just grabbing stuff, wasn't really looking, wasn't paying close attention to what I was buying. I ended up bringing everything home, setting it out to take pictures, and I realized that the shelf sitters that I had bought, the gentleman of the pair, his legs had been re-glued. And I ended up selling them her and then throwing him in as an extra. So she sold for $25 and he just kind of followed her along and they're gonna live happily ever after. And that makes me happy. <clears throat> okay, the next thing that sold was a little purple dish with painted flowers. I believe it was bohemian glass. It was just a trinket dish. Um, it could have been vintage. I'm not entirely sure. Now that sold for $14. Um, also sold were three, sorry, I've got my phone down here. I'm not just like staring down at the ground. Um, also sold were three, uh, dog figurines. I don't know if you remember the video where Sue and I were at the antique shop. We happened upon this booth where there were all these dog figurines. I was just going crazy grabbing dog figurines. They've been sitting for a while, but they finally sold. I sold three for $10 a piece. So they went off to a happy home. Uh, now, Drew and I filmed a video, we had gone to Goodwill, and we spent about three hours there and $120. It was a really long day. And in that hall was this ceramic Tudor cottage, and it was a bank, and it was uh, made in England. Now, that sold for $28. All right. Uh, also sold is Jemima Puddle Duck, the little planter. You guys probably remember that was the video where Sue was trying to convince me to get into the kitschy stuff and I was just resisting it. But I, I've been better. I've been trying to get into it. But at the time I was like, no, Sue, that's not happening. But then I bought the goose and I felt better about it. And actually that sold for $14.95. I don't know why. I was 95ing things that day because normally my prices are just like right, like even, but that day it was a 95 kind of day. So that sold for $14.95. Um, moving right along. I had little kitty cats in a basket. It was salt and pepper shakers. Uh, I believe they were Japan. Uh, those sold for $10. Very cutesy little kitties. Um, now back when it was still warm and Drew and I were able to go to the flea market, we had been putzing around the flea market and came across this table and there was this marigold carnival decanter. It was nothing special, 
but we got it for two dollars i sold that recently for 18. now you guys have probably noticed like i'll do these videos and then stuff doesn't get some stuff like some stuff i'm really excited to like list but then other stuff like doesn't get listed for a while that was kind of the case with this decanter it just kind of sat on the shelf and i didn't list it for the longest time i finally listed it and it finally went up and it sold so <laughs> it's like i need to get this off my shelf i should probably list it and it sold um okay the vintage franciscan ivy uh bowl that i got in the vintage score at the thrift store video that sold for sixteen dollars so that was nice um the little chubby vinegar and oil bottle people they were great weren't they um they were actually made by like nino Perucha. I was trying to do it without looking at it and I'm like, you know, I can't do that. Um, Nino Perucha and they make, they, some of their stuff sells for really good money. And uh, so these guys actually sold for $25 for two of them. They had their original little hats and they don't always have their original hats. So that was good. Um, now the Svea head vase, the Pippi Longstocking vase that everyone was telling me, that's not Pippi Longstocking. And I'm like, yeah, I know that, but it kind of looks like her. Like, I know it's not Pippi Longstocking, but I think it's cute. So anyway, she sold for 18 bucks. And I think I maybe lost money on that. I don't remember how much I paid for that. That was like one of those, I liked it. So I bought it and then it was like, this was a mistake. Um, another thing that sold were the the chicken and rooster, the stuffed ones that I got um, on that day that Sue was trying to convince me that Kitchy was like a thing. Um, and I was like, okay, fine, I'll buy something. And I did actually like the chicken and the rooster. And truth be told, if I was able to decorate in country farmhouse, you know, I live in an old farmhouse and I've often thought, you know, I wish I could pull that off, but I just, I don't even know where to begin if I was to actually try to decorate. I mean, my style is like mid-century and I just, I don't think I could do it, but they sold. Um, the rooster and the chicken sold for $32. So that was awesome. Um, now we had been out, I think I was with Sue or I was maybe with Juliet. And we were out and we had I had spotted this spool lamp. It was like this maroon spool lamp. It was a textile lamp. And I, I had to do some work on it, um, but I finally got it listed. And that sold for $35. And it actually cost $35 to ship that because it went to California. That was expensive to ship. I don't know why that was so expensive to ship. I mean, I ship stuff to California all the time, but for some reason that was like, I remember putting that in the box and like weighing it and getting the shipping and being like, why is this so expensive? Uh, moving on. Uh, the little green glass jar then with the little jar. Uh, I got that on the same day of the $120 three hour day at the Goodwill. That sold for $24. It was a diamond point um, jar. The wooden village canister set, that sold, and that sold for 30. Now the man planter, please tell me you remember the man planter. It is like this wild jungle cat peeking out of the grass and <laughs> that sold for $35. Now, if you have the giraffe man planter, that one sells for a couple hundred dollars. Unfortunately, I did not have the giraffe. I just had the jungle cat, but I do like the jungle cat. Somebody else did too. <laughs> um, also, there is a reason etching of a cat that I sold. And I sold that for $28. I thought that was a darling. Obviously, somebody else did too. Uh, a pair of Franciscan Desert Rose salt and pepper shakers. I had those sell. For 
Now this was two items that actually sold. It was the open lace double tiered cake plate uh, by Westmoreland. That sold for $38. And also the little piggy planter, I don't know if you remember him, that sold for $20. Um, I don't think I got that on video. Uh, the, okay, the flag mugs, those sold for $20. Trash can cat. Oh, I love that trash can cat. Trash can cat sold for $22. And it occurred to me that not only is this a cat planter, but the cat is hugging a trash can. Now, I hope that when he finds his new home, somebody will plant some very fragrant, beautiful flowers in his trash can. So to kind of conceal the fact that he is in fact hugging a trash can. <laughs> I love him, he's so cute. Okay, um, the cake dome. It was like a white cake dome with flowers draped over the edge. That sold for $50. Oops, I got a ring notification. Um, also, the little mirrored tray with the pressed flowers. That sold for $25. The little strawberry divided dish. Uh, that sold for 28. Now I recently bought this little ceramic rabbit and he was just so cute. And <laughs> he sold for $20. He is like this dapper gentleman rabbit and he's great. The Pooh Bear honey lamp. That also sold, and uh, that was actually Drew's deal. He picked out that lamp. Uh, very proud of him for that. He's getting into lamps now. Uh, that sold for $38. Also sold were, I don't know if you remember those little, little vases. They kind of looked like urns, and they had like swirled uh, paint on them. Those, I had all three of those sell. Now, those turned out to be Morton Pottery. They were actually promotional little giveaway, like promotional things. And I realized this after the fact, but I chose not to update my listing because I didn't want to go back and, and boost the price after I'd already set a price for it. So they sold for $8 a piece, I do believe. Let me check. They sold for $8 a piece. They were probably worth more than that given that they were Martin Pottery, and they were promotional stuff for a paint company, and you don't come across them very often. But I made money on them, and I'm okay with that. So, Morton Pottery. Um, the owl mug. I got this retro owl mug. I paid a dollar for it, and that sold for six. So that was good. Now we're going to move over to eBay. Um, as I mentioned before, I don't use it very often. I do not have a store. I don't even have an account on eBay. When I do list on eBay, which is super duper rare, not very often if you've bought from, bought from me on eBay, um, it, it doesn't even come from Jocelyn. So <laughs> that being said, I listed the cutout. I don't know if you remember, I bought, um, that. It was, it was meant to look mid-century. It was a cutout wall art. I sold that on eBay. I had actually cross-posted that on my Etsy store and on eBay because it was a big ticket item and I wanted to reach as big a market as possible and I knew Etsy was kind of limited. So I listed it on eBay. And sure enough, it sold internationally. So <laughs> I wanted to reach that bigger market and I reached a worldwide market and it is now going to Erlinger, Kentucky where it will go somewhere else. I can't tell by the person's name where they're from, but um, it sold for $150. So that's how much I wanted for it. That's how much I expected to get for it. I'm pleased with that. So that is everything that has sold in the past 19 days <laughs> and um, I think we did pretty darn good for 19 days and hopefully the sales continue to keep up 
and I think I definitely need to go out shopping and like restock and stuff. But make sure you go check out my Etsy store. Make sure you go check out some of my shopping videos. See some of the stuff I've been picking up. You can find those on my Relic Recovers channel, but you can also find those here on the Crazy Lamp Lady channel because I've started to post them here. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget that this is just the gross profit. This does not include the fees. I mean, if, if you really want to calculate in the fees, you can just, I mean, I know I only sold one thing from eBay, but if you really want to like get an idea, you can just cut off 10% of that because that's eBay fees and they're the highest fees. So cut off 10% off the profit and that's what you get. Um, and I will put up here what my gross profit was. So anyway, um, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys next time. Later.